You have to start somewhere. No matter what, you have to start somewhere. I didn't have a plan going into high school. Like, even my sophomore year, I had no plan. Even last year, honestly, like, I was good at welding and everything, but I wasn't sure if it was what I wanted to pursue. Like, I knew I was good at it or whatever, but I didn't know what all my options were. This year is kind of just blown up with the options as far as that goes. And now I'm looking forward to starting at the printing school and everything, and it's just, I'm blown away by it, honestly. It's one of the best decisions I've made. Without New Horizons, I would not have any of the options. Like, I would have probably never welded or had the opportunity to weld as much and figure out I was even good at it, honestly. And then Mr. Dupree, as far as that goes, he has been the most helpful teacher I've ever had throughout school. Not high school, school in general. Like, he is the best teacher I've ever had. Well, it's quite unusual to have a, a student like Michael Reed. He's uh, one of a kind. Uh, he's my first state champion in 20 years. During the course of those 20 years, I've had uh, approximately five second place uh, winners, never a first place winner. And now he's headed to a national contest in Louisville, Kentucky, which I predict he's got a good shot at winning. Whatever Mr. Reed does, he does well. And uh, I believe that he's going to be very successful in the apprentice school, that the example that he set here as shop foreman uh, this year, he's going to carry that same uh, leadership qualities with him to the shipyard, and the shipyard is going to teach him to be a better leader. For Michael Reed to choose the apprentice school, out of all the schools that he could have gone to, he actually graduated in the top 10% of his class. He has a strong math background, so he could have definitely gone to any four-year college or university. When you put on top of that a champion for welding, I mean, I'm sure the sky is the limit for him. My granddad, he was a plant supervisor at the shipyard for 38 years, and so it's ran in my family, and I've wanted to be there, and I've worked so hard to get in there, and getting paid to get an education, and also setting up my career for the future, and it's just a wonderful experience and it's a wonderful opportunity that I have. Yeah, we have about 3,000 applicants a year and we have a student body of about 740 students. So it's very prestigious and what's so great about it is that we're building leaders here at Newport News Shipbuilding. And so we're excited about him coming and to see him to have the opportunity to interact with uh, others that have already worked for our company but now are in the apprentice school and earning their um, apprenticeship uh, license, I think it's going to be a great thing for all of us. When we get students in the apprentice school, you know, they are future leaders of the company. So it's not often that you get a young man that uh, comes up through the uh, Skills USA program, the welding program, and Michael having that firm foundation and got that desire to win, which he's already proven he's a winner. Then that, I mean, that, that's an opportunity for him that we can be bringing him up to be that next class one UT or nuclear welder. You know, even if uh, Michael Reed were to win the national championship, I can guarantee you when he comes into the shipyard, he's going to come in uh, full of humility and ready to learn. Just going to go in there and I was just going to soak up all the knowledge I can. So I'm going to, it's going to be a great learning experience going in there.